Hello and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a little while, but with launch coming up, I wanted to take some time and talk about some of the commanders from the good factions that you can get started with to make your life a little bit easier on the battlefield. The first one we're going to talk about is Eowyn. She's a very fast, mounted focus commander. She's got the shield maiden with attack vitals and defensive stance up in the top tree. Those are good to pick when you're starting, but once you get her up into the higher respect levels, there are better abilities that you can choose. Her Rohirrim tree is really good, as that ability itself scales off of her speed stat, as well as the cleave skill. The riding excellence is a great skill to take just to reduce the amount of damage that your mounted units take. Once you get her to respect 3, you can go Durnhelm if you want to increase her damage. And Cripple is good if you want to slow down an enemy target, but I don't find it a great ability. Giant Slayer is very situational. If you want her to counter trolls and things like that, you can go ahead and take it. Uh, the White Lady of Rohan tree is kind of her big one. That's what allows her to heal mounted units. Um, it applies that big heal on round three and increases the damage of men. Haldir is going to be next. He's another early commander you can take. He does a lot of damage once you get him uh, built up later on. The March Warden of Lor Lorien Tree has never been my favorite, but it is one that you can take again early on to start your build. Guide is the tree that I generally suggest people go down. The first two rounds increases the damage dealt by your allied units by 45% once you get it to max, and it also provides stun immunity. Armed Escort is alright for the minor heals, but Foresight is excellent if you're going against Oathbreakers or anything with Avoidance. Sylvan Elf is what allows him to do poison damage, which does increase the amount of damage he does by quite a bit. Beast Training works well with uh, the Bear Men, and Forest Agility is a great skill to take so that your ranged units can attack twice. If you get him to respect level 5, the Galadrim tree can be good. It increases your allied units damage even more, provides you extra defense when defending, and reduces the damage received by your ranged units. Gandalf the Grey is another extremely good commander, and uh, he's generally offered fairly easily early. I only ever suggest putting uh, one point into the wizard ability just for the stun. But again, this is a commander that offers guide on his first level tree. Uh, so you can take that to gain stun immunity for your own units and increase their damage for the first two rounds. Again, the armed escort is great for minor heals, although Gandalf benefits more from it with his extra focus. And then he also has foresight. The gray at respect three provides extra healing. Fleeting Movements provides extra avoidance, and Blindside does provide one more stun. And then at rank 5, or respect 5, sorry, Mithrandir is an excellent ability to take. Um, it opens up Free Peoples, which reduces the damage received for just about all of your units, and then Convener is an excellent skill that increases your damage in battle. Boromir is the next commander we're going to look at. He is a defensive powerhouse most of the time although he does have some abilities that can output a decent amount of damage. The Disarm skill has been overlooked by a lot of people, but it decreases the damage by 500%, which is huge. Swing is one of his offensive abilities. Air is a great ability if you do want to take advantage of Boromir's more defensive side. Gallant allows you to increase the might and speed by yeah, 7%, I believe, at max and nobility just increases damage of men units. Warden is Boromir's big ability. It allows you to avoid the first two instances of damage. Collaboration increases his own, and defensive stance is another one of his extreme defensive abilities. The Horn of Gondor at respect five, this is when he starts to output a lot more damage. He gets a counter attack on his melee units and also has lower defenses as well to increase his damage. Last but not least, we're going to talk about Aragorn. I find him a really high damage uh, commander, although he offers a lot of defense to his troops. The Anduril tree is one of his high damage trees with Call the Weak and Weapons Expertise. And then Dunedain Chieftain is what allows him to uh, offer plus 30 defense, plus 2 HP to his troops at max. 
Brawling training gives him uh, a prioritization against melee units. And then well prepared gives him a counterattack as well. Strider allows you to increase your the stats of base equipment as well as remove any of the uh, race restrictions. Precise Blow grants Pursuit, and Raid is just another offensive ability. At Respect 5, you can get Hidden Air. I put two points into that just to open up Sun, Sun and Moon Splendor to give all of my men units stun immunity with one point into that. And then you can go Nobility as well. Sorry if this went a little bit quick. Feel free to go back, pause the video wherever you need to read any of the skills more in depth. And these are not by any means the be all and end all commanders. They're just five really good commanders that uh, I've seen a lot of people have success with and have had success with myself. We're getting really close to the launch. Hopefully this helps some people get a head start. If so, please be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next ones. We will be doing a launch stream later on. Feel free to stop in and say hi, and we will see you on the battlefield.